Hi guys, I am back today with another shopping list video. I just got home from the grocery store, just like we've done every other video like this. Now, I want to know if these videos are something that you guys are actually interested in. The reason I continue to do them is because I want to show people that eating clean, eating healthy, is not any more expensive than eating junk and eating fast food every day. Now, for instance, my husband was speaking to his grandmother the other day who said she spends $400 a month on food for one person. And this is one person who doesn't eat, you know, who's not working out like crazy, needing all the food all the time, is not constantly hungry. So I just found that to be absolutely insane, bizarre. And most likely, she's buying a lot of foods that are already prepped, a lot of frozen foods, a lot of boxed foods. So we're going to show you all of this today. And at the end, I'll tell you some things that I have planned out for the week. Now, I bought these groceries to basically last up until we leave for vacation in two weeks. But this would have lasted, you know, most of it um, for nearly a month. So let's take a look and dive right in. I'm going to go bag by bag. And I tend to talk really fast in these videos to so try to speed through it. But I'm going to try to slow it down this time. So over here, we have peppers. And I bought two of these. Peppers are great. You can eat them with hummus. You can eat them um, sauteed. You can cut them up, add them to meats, throw them in crock pots. Peppers are a really healthy food and can be good for anything, anywhere. Super easy and convenient. And then we also have mushrooms, which I always buy the pre-cut ones because they cost the same as the ones that aren't cut. So um, we use a lot of those. Then something we have every time I go to the grocery store purple grapes and green grapes. My kids live off of these, eat them all the time, and so do I whenever I'm hungry and don't want to make a meal or, you know, eat more than I should be eating. Tomatoes. I typically don't buy tomatoes because we grow our own, but I have a lot of recipes this week I'm doing with tomatoes, so I wanted to be sure that I was ahead of the game. And then limes, which again, I've mentioned in the past, are good for anything and everything. You can make ceviches out of them. You can um, flavor your meat, your fish, your salads. Um, you can make dressings. Limes are a great general overall food. A lot of these foods are multi-purpose, which is why they last so long and it costs so little for so many meals. Then I got strawberries. They were on sale today, so I bought four of them. That's three. I don't know where the other one is. Hummus. Always buy hummus. Ladies and gentlemen, you may surprise yourself. Your kids, my children, love hummus. They are obsessed. And you would never think that. So don't be afraid to try new things. Give them um, crackers and let them dip it and try it. Also, I have feta cheese to add to some recipes. And some Parmesan cheese to add to some recipes. And these are like the like the premium, I don't know what you would call them. They're in the deli section. They're not just like thrown on the shelf with all the other cheeses. These are the good ones. So you can buy them for a relatively cheap price. Over here I have ground turkey meat, which I will be using to make homemade like turkey balls, turkey meatballs. And then here we have more strawberries. Let's see, we have what's in here? Blueberries. I've mentioned in the past, this is a food that I kind of splurge on. These are like $3 each. However, my daughter loves them and they are amazing foods. They are the healthiest fruit. They're great, really high in antioxidants. You can throw them in smoothies, eat them on their own, throw them in yogurt, throw them in cereal, granola, whatever. Blueberries, in my opinion, worth the investment, worth spending more than any other food. Then we have lots of pears. I have found that my daughter is really a big fan of pears, so those are now an all-time shopping list or shopping item for us to have on the list. I have these big sweet apples. I used to buy the bags that come with the different color apples, but these I have found last us longer and I throw them in juice for my children. So when I juice for them, I use those so that it's sweet and masks the flavor of a lot of the vegetables. Zucchini and also got squash somewhere, but zucchini and squash, great for everything. You can um, steam them in water, you can throw them in the oven and bake them. There are tons and tons and tons of things you can do with zucchini and squash. Then we have broccoli, and one of them fell out of the bag. Again, it can be baked, it can be steamed, it can be thrown in crock pots. 
broccoli is just another one of those foods that are great for everything. Red potatoes, because red potatoes are way better for you than white potatoes. I like to eat them for breakfast. I cut them up into small pieces and eat them for breakfast. We also throw them in meats and like stews or stir fries. Um, really good for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then of course, I always get unsalted mini pretzels for the kids. Make sure you get unsalted because the salted ones are really high in sodium, obviously. And then as we were checking out, it was a really, really crazy day at the grocery store because of the government shutdown. The grocery store that I shop at is going to be closed until further notice. So it was packed. I didn't even end up getting everything on my list. And I was just ready to be out of there. My son was hungry, so I picked up these muffins. I don't remember. Oh, okay. They're pistachio muffins. And they're not great in ingredients, but we're not perfect all the time. Actually, we're not perfect a lot of the time. Then we have eggs. We eat lots of eggs. Lots and lots and lots of eggs. They go in our um, guacamoles. They go in our, our breakfast. We eat them for dinner. We eat them for snack. We boil them. Eggs are always around in our house. You will never not see eggs in our house. So I got two 18 count eggs. Then we have these little cereal bars. I tend to make these and not buy these. However, you know, because we are going on vacation and I have a ton of stuff to do this month, I went for the one that had the best ingredients, the, you know, the least amount of sugar, the most natural ingredients. So that was these. I also buy vanilla. Things like these I would have never bought in the past, but I'm trying to like lighten up a little bit on the kids. And if they eat all of their fruits and vegetables and meat and stuff at dinner, then they get stuff like this. And I have found that it really does help them to eat better but I just limit the amount of junk food that they get. And more cereal bars. We're getting close to the end here, don't worry. And then goldfish. Again, just something that they enjoy. So I buy it. And I think I have a loose egg in here. That's not great. And Nutella. I've mentioned this so many times in the past, but this is the one thing that, you know, I allow my daughter to have every few days with pretzels. All right, moving on, we have refried beans, low sodium, traditional, um, chunky salsa, and all of these are gonna be used for a recipe, which I'll talk to you about. Pinto beans, I bought low fat mayonnaise to make a lobster dip, because um, my husband catches his own lobster, so we do that and we make a dip out of it for his people at his work. Kidney beans, Beans are great, any kind of beans, and then organic grape jelly. Now, I always buy the organic kind, the kinds that don't have any added sugar and things like that, just because I, I don't know, I feel like it's something that if you buy it in the regular, you know, the basic, like, GIF or whatever, that they are really high in sugar, really high in all sorts of preservatives, so I get the organic, you know, it's up to you where you want to cut and how clean you want to eat. I've also laid a little bit back on yogurt because I was buying the Greek strawberry yogurt which goes for like $7 a tub. And because we are going on a really expensive vacation, I'm trying to cut back a little bit on the budget. So I went with a Danon Light and Fit strawberry yogurt for my daughter. I got this um, cream cheese for the lobster dip. More frozen vegetables, which we always have in the freezer, always. More frozen vegetables. And then one last bag here we have avocado, which are great, again, for anything. You can make avocado and egg sandwiches or avocado and egg wraps. You can make guacamole. You can eat them by them themselves. You can do stuffed avocado. Tons and tons and tons of things can be done with that. Here are all the red potatoes that were lost. Zucchini to eat with the squash or on its own. And then, of course, we have cauliflower and then the last thing I noticed the guy didn't do a good job bagging but they were really busy is plums because I'm trying to get my kids to try new fruits that I don't typically buy now this is everything I bought again it was it cost me hundred and twelve dollars and that was with me just trying to get in and out of the store because there were so many people I wasn't as focused on ingredients as strongly as I usually am. I wasn't as focused on the best deal, the best price, the brand. I just kind of grabbed and went. And this is a ton of food that can be snacked on, 
that can be, you know, eating the meals, tons of meals. So it's great. I wanted to buy Tupperware because I need more so I can portion them out ahead of time. Good idea if you're trying to eat clean. Just buy a bunch of Tupperware, a bunch of bags, and prepare your food ahead of time. Now, as for recipes, I'm going to be filming videos this week, hopefully, with recipes. I am going to be doing a guacamole recipe that's really, really simple. It's easy peasy. So I'm going to have that for the week, which usually lasts like three to four days um, in this house. I'm also going to be doing a tilapia ceviche. I'm also going to be doing a bean and corn salad. And as well as a, what was the other thing I was going to do? Oh, like a a healthier Mexican dip type thing. So these are all things that I'm going to make for snacks that will last for the duration of our stay here. So lots of really good food, lots of healthy food, food that can be used all over the place and many, many different meals. And it costs $112. Now tell me if you went and bought pizza and frozen lasagnas and box cereals and cookies and um, everything else like that, that you are going to spend less than I just spent here. It's not going to happen guys. Pizza itself costs anywhere from 5 to $10 just for a frozen pizza. So it can happen. You can eat clean on a budget. We do it for my family of four and it's possible. So leave comments down below letting me know what's one food that you always have to have in your house. And also thumbs up this video and comment down below if you like these videos because I don't want to keep recording them if they're not beneficial to you. So I hope you guys are having a lovely day and I will see you later. Bye!